I had a teacher in high school who just really sparked the interest in biology. She, you know, was up on the chair one day talking about photosynthesis and the excited electrons and her hands were going in the air and she had to stop to catch her breath and that kind of sparked my interest in biology and then as I've learned more and more about it then the interest thing started to really appeal to me because it was just like I just wanted to know more and more and more and more and more and so I think I really wanted to find something that would allow me to continue learning throughout the rest of my life and I thought that then research would be the best venue for that. I am Alex Sorum, I'm a biology major, and I'm funded through the Ergo office as a Sunquist scholar, and I'm working with Dr. Bankers Fulbright. Uh, we are looking at a bacteria called Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and this bacteria is of interest because it is a huge problem for people with cystic fibrosis. It affects about 80% of cystic fibrosis patients before the age of 18. And so what happens is, is it forms what's called a biofilm or like a slime layer inside their lungs. And so we are looking to see if there's anything in the normal lung that can inhibit that formation of that biofilm. Chronic pneumonia by Pseudomonas aeruginosa is a leading cause of death for CF patients because what happens is, is once the biofilm forms in the lung, it's really, really difficult to clear it with antibiotics because the antibiotics can't penetrate that biofilm. And also your white blood cells can't get through the biofilm, so they can't get at the bacteria, so they're just kind of growing at their own will. Your body doesn't have anything to really prevent it at that point. This will be huge for cystic fibrosis research. Um, right now, it's just kind of assumed that there's something in the lung secretions of the normal lung that does inhibit uh, biofilm formation. However, nobody's really tested it. They've tested different components of lung secretions, and two of those components specifically, one of them inhibits and the other one promotes, so nobody's tested what they do when they're together. So I'm kind of testing what the sum effect of the lung secretions are on biofilm formation.